What's going on, brothers? It's not me tell you, you know the name? Got another video for you. As you're entitled, like hell, part 24. Here goes. So, there really is no secret that a lot more of these trollops and ditch pigs are coming out of woodwork and saying that women cheat more than men. They've admitted it. And it's also no secret that paternity fraud is increasing. It's on the rise. And this is exactly why you brothers owe it to yourself to master your life again and perfect it. You gotta do that. Mm-hmm. These trollops, these dish pigs, and certain psychotic malcontents live their lives and don't have to suffer any consequences for their ruinous choices. So, what they're doing is they're engaging in a shell game. They're trying to punk you into taking the bait. And if you take the bait, your life will be ruined. You won't, be, you won't just be ruined financially. Your life itself will be derailed. And these trollops feel that it's just by the means. If your life is ruined, if you're financially ruined, then who gives a shit, right? Right? This is why you have to master your life and perfect it. Somebody has to see it. So it might as well be me. You see, a lot of these trollops and a lot of these dimension creatures in a high place are alarmed that a lot of productive men are leaving the workforce. They're alarmed by that. But these same demented creatures and the trollops who voted for them, they were fine with hamstringing and dropping them into the meat ground for the past 55 years. They're okay with that. But they're not okay with Let's focus on self-preservation. And the reason why they're not okay with that is because they deal in deception. Mm-hmm. They deal in deception. Their job is to deceive the sheep. Mm-hmm. They have to deceive the sheep. They have to hit fake you into taking a shitty deal. I mean, they know that what they're feeding you is poison. They know that what they're telling you is lies. And let's say you believe them and you face plant. These same individuals will mock you and fault you for believing a lie. So we're dealing with here a bunch of sociopaths. Reprobates. Who've been let off the hook time and time again for their trash bag behavior. For their fraud, their usury. And her theft. Yes, even her theft because these individuals get brownie points for finessing men. Have him pay for everything. If he doesn't do it, if he, if he doesn't fall for it, then put a child on him. It doesn't matter if it's not his kid, put a child on him. Run his pockets. It's twisted, it's devious, it's underhanded, but the way you sidestep this shit is we're locking them out. You know how in the scriptures it says, resist Satan, he shall flee from you? Well, if you lock these ditch pigs, these trollops out, they can't ruin your life. Now, they can call you cowards, they can call you wusses and all this other shaming language, but you gotta understand something, brothers. It's your wallet, your choice. I'm gonna say it again. It's your wallet, your choice. 
It starts with you. What do you want to do with your life? Do you want a peaceful, productive life? Do you want to let these trash pig? Do, do, do you want to let these trash bags and dish pigs try to sucker you into taking a shitty deal? Do you want that? The choice is yours. And this shell game that they're playing, it's not going to slow down anytime soon. Never mind the fact that we're taking our first steps into World War III. Never mind the fact that there's trouble labor in the capital. Never mind the fact that the food shortages will get worse. This is a sick game that they're going to continue to play until they self-destruct. Because make no mistake, you see, the machinery of the state will let these ditch pigs off the hook for their bad behavior, but they're still not immune, completely immune from the consequences. One of those consequences is financial ruin. Another one is bad health, or in their case, STDs. They've told themselves for many years that they're strongly dependent, they don't need no man, that they're bad bitches, but why are they moving the goalposts? Why are they trying to punk us into taking care of them? Why are they doing this if they can do bad all by themselves? Because the truth is, they're freeloaders. Mm-hmm. They're freeloaders. And you owe it to yourself to lock them out. The prudent man sees wickedness and hides himself from it, but the simple go on and are punished. Mm-hmm. It may seem selfish, it may seem underhanded, but paternity fraud is selfish and underhanded. And these trollops know that it's selfish and underhanded. That's why on some podcasts, like on some of these podcasts, you can see these trash bags saying things like, well, DNA testing is lame. Fucking really? DNA testing is lame? <laughs> they lie as easy as they pass gas, man, I'm telling you. Don't play their game. Take heed, brothers. Take heed. Mm hmm. This is Lana McTell. That's all I got for you in the video. Like the video, like the baddest here in the commentary, feel free to subscribe. If you're doing it, visit my channel, find tip jar on the upper right inside the screen. Next to you, put like on. All right, fam? All right, brethren? You know drill, you know routine. Go wrong way, live wrong way. SYSBM. That's for these ditch pigs, these trollops, these dimensional creatures in a high place. And those are probably say how we say it. Give them nothing. This is Mixed Out PSC. Watch the tight. See you soon.